Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I gotta get my Jess version 3.0 situated. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness, I've had so much trouble today. I hope that everything is working. Oh, hi, Catherine. Can you hear me and see me okay this week? Is everything working? I feel like I don't quite trust Facebook after... Oh, yep, I'm on my Facebook page, and I see myself live in on the page. So good. It looks like everything is working. I am having trust issues with the Facebooks. <laughs> Okay, good, good. I'm glad you can hear me. Um, you guys, oh my God, we were so bummed. Like, I can't even tell you the level of bummedness <laughs> that was happening here last week with Jess and I. We were, like, ready to go. I was on vacation last week from my day job, so we had margaritas. Like, I made us frozen margaritas. We were going to have, like, this amazing Facebook Live day. Jess had something really cool to share. It was just so sad. And, you know, we never think to, like, check Facebook in the anytime before we're planning on going live um, to make sure that it's working and there's it's not down for any reason. Maybe we should do that from now on, on, on live day. Just uh, take a quick peek and make sure that Facebook isn't having any major issues because it's so disappointing to get all situated, get all our stuff out, sit down, and then have problems. You know, it's so sad. Hi, Doreen. How are you today? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I am so hot. Hey, Karen. How are you? <laughs> you guys, I am so hot. It is so hot here today, like this whole week in, in New Hampshire, as a reminder. And it has been really hot and it's always humid here. We always have a very humid, wet heat. And um, and I've been having like hot flashes, <laughs> like crazy. Like, so on top of this crazy heat, I have been having hot flashes and people keep telling me, oh, you're too young to be having hot flashes. And I'm like, well, tell that to my hot flashes <laughs> because the heat wave that comes over me is ridiculous. And like right now I'm literally dying, legit. I'm dying. But anyway, I won't <laughs> totally bore you with that. But just know if you see me looking like, you know, like I'm melting, it's because I totally am melting, like right here. My husband would say that's because I'm a witch, but I'm not a witch. I'm a good witch. <laughs> I have my little, um, my little tiny baby mug today um, from forget his name. I think it's like Sharon or Karen creates or creative, something like that. Uh, I do love my mug, but it is a tiny little, let me turn it around. It's a tiny little baby mug. It only holds six ounces of coffee. Wow. And of course I'm drinking hot coffee, even though I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Lori. Yes, this is Jess today. So Jess is having another quiet, um, day and she shrunk a little bit, <laughs> but you know, we have to, we just has to represent. So, um, I think every time when she's not here, I will try to have some sort of little stand in for her. So today it's Yoda. I have a weird, like stuffed animal, uh, obsession. Like you guys know, I love sloths and I have a ton of sloth stuffed animals, but I have a lot of other stuffed animals too. I have like Fraggle Rock stuffed animals. I have Cat in the Hat. Um, obviously like Star Wars things. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you would not realize if you walked into my office that it was an adult <laughs> that actually worked in this space. Whatever. So I hope you guys all had a wonderful 4th of July, um, and um, it was Canada Day, too. I can't remember if that was before or after. I'm so bad on my holidays. You guys, I can't even remember my wedding anniversary, usually. <laughs> my husband and I, like, sometimes we'll wake up and, like, we'll be like, who's the first person to remember that it's our anniversary? We're just, we're not, like, super, um, I don't know. We just don't pay attention to all this stuff. We just celebrate every day that we have together. <laughs> um, where, oh, I'm like, where was I going with it? See, without Jess here, I'm on my own to, like, use my finger and 
It doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. Um, so yeah, so happy Canada Day to all our Canadian friends and happy 4th of July. How did you guys celebrate? Um, I don't think we talked about that, right? Because that was last week and that was when everything went down. So yeah, how did you guys celebrate? Did you cook out? Did you do anything? We went to, my husband and I and my son went to my in-laws. They have a place on a lake up in Wakefield, New Hampshire. It's on Great East Lake, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram of the lake, so if you're interested in seeing that, it is so beautiful. Um, but we do like a lobster thing every year. We actually did it on Friday since I was on vacation. So we stayed home for the 4th, uh, which is fine. I mean, we don't have any young kids, and I like fireworks as far as like, I think they're pretty, and I like to see them, but... Around here, like you have to go somewhere to see the fireworks, which is probably pretty much everywhere, right? And the traffic is just insane, and the bugs, like there's mosquitoes, and I don't know. It's just, it's not an enjoyable time for me to do that. I just don't love it. So we stayed home. It's, we don't, we used to go every year when we had little kids, but my son's almost 17 now, so we don't do that. But if you guys, um, if you guys went and did fireworks or anything, let me know. Um, Karen said she went to her sister's. Oh, that is fun. Oh, it was raining though. That's too bad. Um, North uh, and Lori went to North Carolina. Oh, that's fun. Lori, my husband um, was born in North Carolina. Uh, I don't think he lived there for very long. I think he moved here when he was three. He's from New England, but um, his mom had moved to North Carolina when she got married and they um he was born out there but then they came back here so anyway i don't know why i don't know anything about north carolina aside from that but um hey chandra how are you doing today i hope you're having an awesome wednesday hey mom how are you um okay well i don't have a ton of knitting to show you guys today i've been super duper busy with a lot of other yarn related things <laughs> um, so uh, real quick before i get into all of that i want to give a shout out to diane who left a um review on the hypnotic yarn facebook page and she said love the yarn in the yarnable monthly yarn fix Thank you so much, Diane. That is very sweet of you, and it means a lot to me to hear. And you guys know um, I say this every week, but if you haven't yet, please feel free to jump over to the Facebook page and leave. Um, even a couple words is super helpful as a review or recommendation. Um, even if you just watch the the um, lives, you know, you can just mention that that's what you watch and that you enjoy them. If you do, hopefully you do if you're here. Um, but anyway, thank you so much, Diane. And thank you guys. Um, who saw my post in the Facebook group, the Hypnotic Yarn Facebook group, and um, volunteered bravely to do a Yarnable unboxing video. You guys are awesome. Uh, you totally rock my world, and yeah, it's totally great. You, everyone did an amazing job. Thank you so, so much. Um, I, I enjoyed watching every single one of those, and um, yeah, I just loved them. So thank you so much. That was awesome. Uh, hey, Amy, doesn't Jess look, she's feeling, she's a little green today. <laughs> Jess is a little green today. I don't know if she ate something. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. But she's got a smile on, so that's good, right? Um, so I wanted to let you guys know that I am looking for a couple of super amazing, brave volunteers who would be willing to do a really short um, video interview with me if you are, um, if you're a Yarnable subscriber. I would like to have a little compilation video of a few different people. So if you are willing and interested, shoot me an email at hello at hypnoticyarn.com and um, just, you can put, interview video or I don't know anything like that in there so we know what you're why you're emailing and um, it will be I promise quick and painless and um, and it'll be super easy it is not anything that's like crazy involved um, but it will require you to be physically on video with me <laughs> so let me know if that is something you're interested in doing uh, it would like 
it would help me out a ton and I would so appreciate it. Okay. What else? And I swear I'm going to show you some knitting, but since I don't have a ton, oh, I fuzz. Um, since I don't have a ton this week, mm, I still have fuzz. Um, I just want to get all the all the talky bits out of the way. So I think the only thing, other thing I have to tell you guys is that if you ordered the super fancy frosty hat kit that comes with the pattern the yarn the mini skein you could pick blue or orange um we got everybody's selection so if you had forgotten i know brady ann reached out to you guys and we we got y'all covered um and it comes with the pom-pom and it comes with the super fabulous uh snow globe snowman stitch marker they're all gone, so I guess I don't know why I'm like saying all the things. But if you got one, they are being packed up, and they should be out in the mail tomorrow. So you should be seeing a ship notification for that really soon. Um, I have all just as on vacation, but she already got me all the pom poms, so I will be able to. Uh, all the yarn is dyed and dried, and it's twisted. It's just being labeled and packed, and then I don't think it's going to make the mail today, but it should definitely be out to you guys tomorrow. So yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much if you if you ordered one of those. They're super cute. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. This kit is like definitely one of my favorites, and I have something very unique coming next month it will include yarn but it's going to include something else that is yarn related but not like a hundred percent it's different it's different it's not like anything you've seen before but i mean it's not like you've never seen it in your life ever anywhere but you've never seen a kit like this from me or i don't think from anybody else it is unique and it's going to be super fun so keep an eye out for that i will be posting pictures of it soon um and as always it will go out to um newsletter subscribers first for uh, pre-order. Okay. I feel like I'm doing so much talking without Jess here and it feels really crazy. Um, <laughs> hey Gina, don't you love her? Isn't she adorable? Is Jess with you? Is she watching? Where is she? I hope she pops in and says hello in the comments. <laughs> okay. Um, so knitting. This week I made two washcloths here is one i only have i didn't weave in the end i have one end that did not get woven in this is that looks pretty true this is the 100 percent pima cotton dk weight um that i have been playing around with i'm not going to carry this base in the shop so you guys it's not going to go in the shop um, I do have some, though, in solid colors in both fingering weight and DK. If you are interested in it, um, shoot me a message, shoot me an email, and we can send you a picture of what is available. And if you would like some, you are welcome to it. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep it and use it up myself, making washcloths like this one. Um, but I'm not going to carry it. It is, it's just not enjoyable for me to dye it, really, to be honest. Um, I love how it knits up. So, I mean, I may occasionally <laughs> um, dye some for myself. I do have some more left that I can dye, but it's not really going to go up in the shop. So, again, if you're interested, let me know. I put a I-core and made like a little I-core loop on this washcloth so I can hang it in my shower. I think it's going to be work out nicely. Um, I held two strands double. Do I have it here? I don't, I didn't bring the yarn in here with me, but it was basically, you can see, it's like a, it's like a lime green, I don't know if it's showing up very 100% true, but it's like a lime green and a teal, and I held two strands together, and I made two of these, I made one for my dad, um, I made him one for Father's Day, but I'd only given it to him last week, so I made it, and I didn't have a chance to show you guys, because, um, I gave it to him and I didn't take any pictures, but I liked it a lot. So I made another one. These just work up so quick. They're just such a fun, fun thing. I started this one uh, on Friday when we were up at camp. I love it. They're so squishy and I throw it in the washer and dryer and it comes out of it. Like when you put it in your, when you're using it, it like 
just picture when you block something, right? You put it in the water and it kind of stretches out. It, it stretches out, so it gets quite a bit bigger when you're using it. But when you wash it and throw it in the dryer, it comes out of the dryer looking just like, just like you just finished it. It's crazy. So I love it. It's so squishy. Um, this one my husband has claimed, and I'm going to make another one for my son because we are slowly working uh, out of using those like plastic poofs for the shower. They're so yucky. I don't love them. I mean, they just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care for them. Um, so yeah, so I'm making, and then I'm going to make a whole bunch more so we can like swap them out and all that stuff. And I think I'm going to make them for like everybody for Christmas because I love them. Um, oh good. Hey Jess. Oh, there she is. Hi. <laughs> it's so weird seeing you this way. Oh, thank you, Jessica. She said I look gorgeous. I don't know about that. Um, I have my hair in like a weird bird's nest. <laughs> because I will just didn't do anything with it. But um, when I saw my family for um, on Friday after the 4th, they kept saying to me, oh, my God, you're so tan. Every person that, like, one after the other, they're like, you're so tan, you're so tan. Um, I guess I've just been spending some time in the sun. I don't know. I'm only tan on the front half, though. The back half of me is, like, white, like, as white as like blinding white because um, my hammock broke so I can only sit in a chair when I'm outside <laughs> which is hilarious so it's like legit crazy anyway I picked another um oh mom good I'm glad my mom said that my dad loves his uh, washcloth so that's awesome um I picked another July or another whip for the whip along that we're doing in the Facebook group. So I picked another one um, for July. I should say another one for July. I picked another one, but it's my first one for July. So are you guys still doing your whip along projects? Have you abandoned all hope or are you still working on those? How, how are you guys doing if you're participating in that? If you don't know what I'm talking about, pop over to the Facebook group and you can find the thread that will talk all about it. But this is what I picked for my July project to finish. Um, it is a flax sweater by Tin Can Knits. And um, if you're familiar with the flax pattern, I have a snag on my nail. I'm trying not to catch it on the, um, on the yarn. If you're familiar with the flax pattern, it has a garter ridge that goes down the sleeves I omitted that and also there's two versions there's the flax which is worsted weight and there's flax light which is fingering I did DK and I think I just went I think I just did a size bigger I tried it on if it it's me great it's probably a little too big um but I guess I'd rather have a sweater that's a little big and comfy than something that's um too small because then I won't wear it <laughs> I don't like tight things so anyway, I did that, and then I, oh, no, that's not the finished sleeve. I finished, I had, I had a stitch marker, but I took it out. I was probably, like, here, and so I did, like, I finished the body, I did ribbing, found that off, and I finished one sleeve. I made this a short sleeve. I thought it would look cute um with a long sleeve shirt under it like a long sleeve t-shirt don't you think that would look kind of cute in the like once it gets cool so i can wear it in the fall when it's still you know sometimes we have warm days so you don't want it to be too hot and then the winter i can wear like a long sleeve shirt under it i thought that would look cute because it's just a real basic basic sweater and it's in my november birthday colorway because um that was the first birthday colorway i ever um, died and I made it because my whole family is in November. I'm November, my kids are November. Um, I feel like there's a lot of other people, there's other people in our family that are also in November. We usually have a big November birthday party um, on Thanksgiving. So, like this year, my birthday is the day out, it's on Black Friday. So, that'll be interesting. <laughs> Every like four or five years or something, my birthday's on Black Friday. Um, so anyway, this is the sweater. I like it. 
I'm happy to get this off the needles. This has been, I think I cast it on last August. So <laughs> it'll be a good one to get finished. All I have left to do is finish this sleeve. I don't know what my problem is. Some people have like second sock syndrome. You know what problem I have? I finish all my sweaters up to one sleeve and then I just leave it. My V-back tee also has one, which is right here. By the way, you can kind of see it. I also have one sleeve, the sleeve right here. <laughs> I haven't finished. So I like to make sweaters and just knit one sleeve. So I think my goal is going to be do this sleeve and then do this sleeve and put both of these sweaters to bed. Um, I will, I'll probably keep that one out because it's fingering weight and it's very light. So if we do have cool days here, I could still wear it. Um, and I'll put this one away uh, for the winter. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to cast on next. I told you guys that I was going to do, it was like a color work sweater, which I still very well may do. Um, sorry, I'm just going to check comments real quick. Usually just scrolls through the comments because I cannot see that well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need glasses for far away, but um, on the computer, it's just really small. I'm on my laptop. So just says she loves my shirt. Thank you so much. It's new. I like it too. Um, Catherine says she's still working on her whips. Awesome. What are you working on right now, Catherine? Which, what pattern is the whip that you're doing um, for July? Lori, she's still working on hers. Awesome. Tell me also which one, what's the pattern that you're working on? Jess is pecking away at her shark. Did you guys watch the Facebook Live Jess and I did in the Facebook group when I was showing her how to knit and I was showing Gina, her mom, how to do Magic Loop? Um, if you didn't watch that, go over there and watch it. Jess showed her whole sh big shark, and it's massive. You'll see how big it is in person. Um, so, yeah, definitely go over there and check that out. That was fun. But it's in the group, so if you're not in the group, um, just search either hypnotic yarn on Facebook and you'll find it or go to the page and it's linked right there. I think at the top or something. Um, okay. And then you guys are all talking to Jess. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Jess, chat them up in the comments, girlfriend. Um, so yeah, I am not sure. I found another pattern that I really liked as well. I'm going to pull it up for you guys if I can find it real quick. <laughs> it's gonna make me log in. Hold on. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't, I might not do it. Oh, it doesn't work. I had to change my password on Ravelry and I don't remember what it is. And it's not saving it anymore. So there was another sweater though. It was also a color work sweater, but it was like a really big oversized sweater. I don't know. I feel like I'm being indecisive about casting anything new on which is crazy because I'm usually like a, the queen of cast on cast arms but I don't know I'm really enjoying working on my whips and getting them done it's so motivating it feels amazing like my pile I have this massive pile of project bags and now the pile is less massive there's only a couple left over there so I'm really excited about that so I don't know but I do like having something new on the needles. And my sock mojo is like totally gone because I think I have it in my head that I want to get the sock machine, which I've been talking about forever but haven't pulled the trigger on. The uh, Earl Bacher Gearheart um, sock machine, or it's not a sock machine, it's a circular knitting machine. So every time I think about doing socks, I think, oh, but I could just wait until I get a sock machine or the circular knitting machine. Is that terrible? I don't know. I don't know why that's like in my head now, but it is and I can't seem to get it out. So yeah, I don't know. So I'm having like, I've lost my sock mojo and, but I do have sweater mojo. So I'm enjoying knitting all the sweaters. I really liked working on that fingering weight sweater, but I don't know. Uh, Catherine said, I'm working on my summer shawl and a pair of socks. That is awesome. Um, <laughs> Doreen said, um, you all were a hoot. Yeah, on the Facebook Live on uh, in the group. That was so funny. Um, Karen said she's still trying to finish the blanket for her daughter and the, um, in my lapgan. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Um, oh, hey, Elena. She said I look so cute. Elena is, um, I call her my cousin. I don't know if that's really exactly what she is, but uh, she is, I want to say my cousin on my husband's side, and she is also one of the November babies that, um, that I was talking about earlier. So thank you, Elena. Um, I feel like I don't know what else to say. I that because that's all I've had going on. <laughs> My life has been just pretty. It's been really yarnable focused. You guys know I've been talking about yarnable forever, and I have been doing a lot of stuff to get some really cool things going with it, um, which has all been really fun. But it's been taking up a ton of time. Um. <laughs> Jess and I have serious sweater mojo. Yeah, well, Jess, you will too, because pretty soon you can cast on a sweater. Uh, Amy said she finished a knitted dishcloth. Yay for finishing something, and she's working a second one. Awesome. That's cool. Amy, what type of, what are you using? Are you using, like, uh, Dishy by Knit Picks, or what do you use for your cotton for your dishcloths? I am super interested to know what you like for those, because I might make some too, but I don't care for... Is it? I always call it sugar and cream. Is that what it is? Something. It's like the craft store brand cotton. Um, I didn't care for that, but I think Dishy just has used Dishy, and it's really nice. So let me know what you use. Um, Laura said she's working on her cotton summer wrap. That is cool. Um, I got a new yarn base. It is a cotton merino blend so it's 50 percent cotton 50 percent merino wool and i do very much enjoy dyeing that so that may be coming to the shop if you guys are interested in um that let me know because i can do i can just do a lot more with it i can do a lot more speckles on it and i think it's just a nice lighter option but it's I mean, it still has wool in it. Obviously, it's not going to be helpful if you are, like, allergic or whatever. But it is a lighter option than 100% wool for some lighter knits and crocheted items. So let me know. I don't know. I bought some, and I'm dyeing it, and I like it, but I haven't worked it up yet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, What else? What else? Oh, hey, Sarah. Sarah's here, too. You guys, oh, my God, my whole family's here. It's like a... Cheryl's family party. <laughs> hey, Judy, how are you? Um, uh, oh, just, okay, so, all right, well, so just left a comment saying what it is so I can share it now. When I said just made something special that we couldn't share last week, it was her finished knitted dishcloth. Well, it's not really a dishcloth because it's wool, but it's like a dishcloth shaped wool thing we're gonna call it like a pot holder i guess but it's like she made this she made this but she made it in wool just because that's what i had kind of for scrap yarn um and she was just practicing but that girl you guys i was like this is how you knit and she was like okay boom in two days finished one of these <laughs> that's crazy i was like <laughs> not angry obviously i'm not angry about it but i was like it took, when I first tried knitting something, it was, did not happen the way Jess made it look like so easy. It's, it's like embarrassing for me because my, my first knitted stuff did not look good at all. And she was just like, nailed it, made a dishcloth, what's next? <laughs> She's like, give me a sweater pattern, I'm on it. She'll probably just be like whipping out clothes left and right. And her mom, Gina, oh my God. She wanted to do magic loop uh, so she could knit more things in the round without using DPNs, um, which I totally get because I don't use DPNs and I just can't seem to get the hang of them. And some people have a hard time getting used to it at first because it can be a little bit fiddly getting going with magic loop. She just like, literally, I showed her like twice, like, okay, you just do this and you do this. And then the woman just like spit out a sock. <laughs> Like, you guys are so talented. So Gina, if you're still watching, how are you doing on your sock? Uh, how uh, are you at the heel yet? Because I know you wanted to talk about that when she got there. Oh my God, you guys are awesome in the comments. Um, Amy said, just the regular cotton I had in my stash. I don't think I have the sugar and cream cotton blend. 
Um, she thought if Jess could do it, she could too. Yes, that is the perfect attitude to have. If Jess can do it, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, <laughs> um, oh, uh, yeah, Je I just at the very beginning, Jess, she said she missed the part where I said it was super secret. Uh, I didn't say it was, I don't, I don't remember what I said, but I wasn't sure if you, uh, if you were going to share your dishcloth, your mini dishcloth. So anyway, I think that's all I have for you guys. I know it's a super quick one. It's only been about a half an hour, but um, I know your time is super valuable to you, and I don't want to just go on and on about nothing. So um, I think that's it. I don't have anything else. Major oh, one other thing I do have coming up I want to tell you about is July birthday. First of all, you guys, I totally, totally – um, failed epic fail on my end for June birthday, like massive epic fail. Uh, it just got away from me, and then I kind of forgot all about it to be perfectly honest. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that since June is over, but I am going to do July birthday, which Brian tells me is Ruby, and um, yeah, so. I am going to do that, and I have something in mind for it. So I hope if you are a July birthday and you are looking forward to that, that you like it. I am going to hopefully get that dyed at least some this week so I can get that in the shop so you guys can see it. Um, the yarnable, well, I guess it doesn't matter because it's too late now, but they, I was going to say the August yarnable colorway. The sneak peek is up, but... Um, miss it's already too late to skip if um if you don't like it so i hope you like it <laughs> but if you did want to go see that you can go to my regular website hypnoticyarn.com click on yarnable and then you can click the button to see the spoiler pick if you're interested in seeing what that colorway looks like everything is almost dyed up so yay um yeah i think that's pretty much it I, if you're, you know, if you guys didn't make it in and you would like to make it in to, um, to, to Yarnable next time we open, you can sign up for the waiting list if you go to yarnable.net, click any of the sign up buttons and it will take you to where you can sign up for the waiting list. So you'll get an email when we reopen. Um, the goal is next month, as long as I'm having some, some technical difficulties with a few things, not so much with Yarnable, but with some things that I'm integrating with it. So um, it may have to push out, but we'll see. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys. Hopefully next week I'll have some more knitting, maybe a new cast on. I feel like I haven't showed you anything new in quite a while. So, uh, and just bearing any unforeseen circumstances, we'll be back. So um, that will be awesome because I miss my buddy. And um, that's all. So I hope you guys have an awesome week. Um, oh, Amy said maybe do a mini skein with the July birthday. I did just order a ton of minis, Amy. So, um, yeah, you mean like a, a um, like an option for like a kit, like a not a kit, but like like a sock set almost. I could do something like that. We shall see. We shall see. That could be fun. I will, uh, I will think on that and see if I can come up with something cool. Uh, Catherine said, thanks. Have a great day and week. Thank you, Catherine. You too. Everybody, you guys have an awesome day, week. I'm glad I got to chat with you today. And uh, we will be back next week in full force with all of the fun things. So I can't wait to see you guys next week as well. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Oh, and Jess says bye, except her hands are stuck together. So bye. Bye. <laughs>